What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to be building a power rack. Uh, hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. I will start by cutting the stock metal into pieces and sort them out. I will cut the legs first, then the four posts, and finally the top part of the structure. For the brackets that hold the entire structure, I used an 8 inch by 8 inch 3 16 pickup plates, which are very strong for this project. I used a vernier caliper to score a 2 inch line across the plate in order to measure where I'm going to drill holes. I am preparing the plates to be welded by grinding off the burrs and sharp corners. What I like to do first is to tack weld the pieces together, then do a test fit before I fully weld. In this part you'll see me pig drilling to mark where I will exactly make a hole on the other piece of metal. To make it easy for me, I number some pieces to match them later. Using this 3 16th plate, I made end pieces to weld on the square tubing to tie the power rack frame together.
for the pull-up bar, I cut a 1 and a quarter 11th gauge round 2 to 44 inches, which is the inner width of the power rack and my preferred length. After noticing a little bit of racking, I decided to add a triangular support on the base and it was way better. Now it's time to make the holes where the safety bars will be placed. The safety bars are made of 1 inch diameter 11th gauge tubing. It is perfect for my application and I used a 1 and 1 8 hole saw. To my preference, I made the distance of each hole 8 inches apart from each other. I used 2.5 inch, 3 8 of an inch bolts and nylon nuts to fasten all the parts. Now I'm making the safety bars and J cups. I cut the safety bars to 52 inches and the J cups to 6 inches. Each process of making them are the same, just different lengths. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm planning to do a video series on DIY gym equipment, so stay tuned for that. The total cost for this project was around $150. In the future, I'm planning on adding a lap pull-down system, so be on the lookout for that too. That's it for today, see you guys in the next video.